Good morning, YouTube. My name is James Short, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install uh, Millennium B100 seats in your boat. Uh, yours may be a little bit different than uh, my boat. My boat is a, a boat from Bass Pro Shop, and uh, it's a Grizzly. I'm going to be mounting my two uh, seats up on the front so I can spider rig. I'll show you in a minute what I've gone through so far to get ready. Just give me one second and I'll put you on the boat. Well, the first thing I did was I installed my spider rigs in the locations where they're gonna be at so I can make sure that I had plenty of room. Put them on both sides. Then I had to figure out where the seat position was gonna be and I marked it off with uh, painter's tape. After I did that, I went ahead with a straight edge and I just used a piece of angle aluminum that I had sitting around and I got my center point. The base itself right here is two and a half inches wide so I've got a two and a half inch hole so that will fit down and flush but I took the, uh, the base and set it there and, and got my marks. This is gonna flip over, of course. This is a screw-in type for the base. And this is what the bottom of the base looks like. And then the seat will just attach right there to the top part. It's 13 inches long. The seat itself comes, these are Bass Pro um, adapters here for the bottom of the seat. <clears throat> the four bolts come with uh, with the seat. The seat's about $100. Uh, it comes with the washers and the nuts. Both sides are 7 16 You can use a crescent wrench on the, the bottom side underneath the seat over here. And I used a deep socket 7 16 to uh, tighten down the uh, nut over here on this side. Really, really, <clears throat> really easy. There's no videos out there showing how this works or anything. There's also a little bit of instructions that come with the uh, seat itself but anyway so that's how that attaches it's very simple um, the bolts are included as well as the washers so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, get, I've got my center point I'm going to get my hole saw hooked up to my drill and I'm going to go ahead and cut through here so we'll be right back okay it's very important to make sure you check underneath your boat uh, I'm glad I did that before I started drilling. Anyway, there's a wall there in this box underneath the uh, deck where I was planning on cutting and uh, I didn't have enough clearance so the seat might not have sat flush. So I gave it a little bit more room and spaced it out with the painter's tape like another, another inch, inch and a half over. So now I should clear that wall there that's inside it's the same way on the other side and this side is where I have my battery at I'm the same thing I'm just gonna get my center point again and then I'm gonna cut that hole first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and let that center point uh, where the lines connect in the middle I'm gonna go ahead and drill a pilot hole so it makes it easier for the hole saw to go in <laughs> hole saw with a pilot hole okay now I've cut that hole out and there's a bunch of foam down in there so I'm going to dig some of that foam out so that the uh, base will fit in there properly now I've got the styrofoam removed and the base plates down flush I'm going to go ahead and mark those holes and I'm going to drill some holes that are a little bit smaller than the screws that I'm going to use. They're stainless screws. I'm going to use six of them. There's six holes to uh, attach that plate down to the deck. This is the screws I'm going to be using here. They're Weathermax stainless steel pan Phillips sheet metal screws. So I'm going to go ahead and insert these here in just a second. One of the problems I ran into while I put these screws in is they don't make screws like they used to. Okay, These screws are made in China and they're basically junk so they'll strip very easy so I'm going to take a pair of uh, vice grips and take that screw out and replace it with another one. The drill I'm using is a 
three sixteenths drill bit. All six screws have been installed. Now I'm going to go ahead and install the post. is a Springfield. The other the other one I got is the same thing but it's a Bass Pro Shop version. This is this is it right here. Seven by seven threaded. And it's it's a lot cheaper. And if you got a Bass Pro Club card or if you bought a boat there you can save twenty percent on that Bass Pro Shop uh, base instead of a uh, 10% off the uh, Springfield. So I recommend going with the uh, Springfield. So now all we gotta do is just take one of our seats. We'll take this one here. And I'm using my iPhone instead of my GoPro to do this video. We're just gonna set that base right down in there. I'm gonna push it down. Push it in there. It sits flush just like that. Bit of a shavings there, but you can see the seat now, and the position where it's at is perfect. So you just reach out and grab a hold of your uh, your rod and set the hook. You're not too close. And the other thing is that where I've got these positioned, there'll be plenty of room for both people who are fishing together to not be banging into each other with the space you have with that compartment between you. That throws a lot of shavings everywhere, so make sure you wear eye protection. Here's what it looks like with both seats installed. Can't wait to get it out on the water and do some crappie fishing. Anyway, uh, please leave your comments below uh, if you have any suggestions on how this could be done easier. Uh, please feel free to put those down there. I just felt like uh, somebody needed to show everyone how easy these seats are to install. So anyway, I look forward to reading your uh, suggestions and your comments. Uh, Please try not to be too hard on me. This is one of my first videos I've done. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks and have a good day.